Welcome to the DMV Virtual Office. This step-by-step -step guide will assist you with submitting your partial year renewal application. To complete this request, you'll need to fill out the Vehicle Registration Renewal Form. You'll be shown the section where you can enter the specific months in which you'd like your vehicle registration to begin and to end. Let's get started. To use this convenient online tool, visit virtual.dmv.ca.gov. You'll be taken to the DMV Virtual Office homepage. Scroll to the bottom to find the appropriate service. In this case, choose Vehicle Registration Renewal. Before you begin your transaction, review the checklist to make sure that you have all of the necessary documents. Then, select Start DMV Virtual Registration Renewal. You'll find the button on the left side of the screen. You will then be asked to provide your contact information. This includes your first and last name, telephone number, email address, and your physical address, including the city, state, and zip code. In the next section, describe the service you want to complete. You'll need to provide the last five digits of your vehicle identification number, or VIN, and your license plate number. It's important that you answer yes to the following question. If this is a commercial vehicle, are you placing your vehicle on a partial year registration, or PYR? Again, answer yes. You will then need to choose the month in which you want the PYR to start and the month you want it to end. Under the heading Transaction Documents, you'll be asked a series of questions. The first one asks if you've tried online renewal. Select No as your answer. Your responses will determine whether you'll be required to upload specific documents to the DMV. For example, if you answer yes to the next question, do you have a registration card, you'll be prompted to select the files to upload. You can do that using a computer or a smartphone. When you have finished this online form, check the box next to I'm not a robot. Then click Submit. You'll receive a reference code similar to the one on the screen. It'll be sent to your email address. A DMV customer service representative will then begin processing your request, and we ask for your patience during this process. You'll be contacted again by email, asking you to submit your payment by e-check to finalize your transaction. Just click on the link. If you have any questions, you can reply to this email. Submitting an e-check is simple. Select which bank account you'll be using, checking or savings, and provide the routing and account numbers, along with your name. This illustration shows you where you can find this information on a check. Remember, you must submit payment and all necessary documents to complete the transaction. If there are any questions about your application, a customer service representative will contact you. Otherwise, you'll receive a transaction complete notice. Thanks for using the DMV Virtual Office.